Good morning to you, rugby fans. Welcome to beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana. We have seven rugby action coming for you all day. Blow up the spot, then we run it. Ready or not, here we coming. Somebody better say a prayer for me. Tonight may get a little crazy. Handles that one, finally moving out. It looks like they are in the try zone again, extending their lead. Welcome to the National Collegiate Rugby Fall Men's National Championships. We are just about ready to get going with the Lone Star Bowl here live from Houston, Texas. Should be a fun one this afternoon. Tim Wilkes, I've got wheels here with me on the broadcast, Thomas Grant. And we are just about ready to get going as you see the Sam Houston State Bearcats in the orange and gray, taking on Southern Nazarene, the storm out of Oklahoma. Again, in this Lone Star Bowl matchup series. The boys from Huntsville there in the orange. The men in black should be a fun one. Storm versus Bearcats up next. Let's take a closer look at these teams here. Southern Nazarene. Strong season so far, went 3-0 to start off, and then a couple of losses down the stretch. One to Central Washington, and then a final third place, or excuse me, the quarterfinal matchup in their conference went awry. They lost to Principia. Ended up third place in their conference, and then the boys here from Sam Houston out of the Lone Star Conference, sitting at 4-1 on the year. They've been able to take out Texas A&M. Their B-side once, as their only other one loss was to Texas A&M as well, but that'll set up a big matchup between Sam Houston and Texas State on February 4th. We are just about ready to go. We see our referee, Justin Hale, coming from Round Rock, Texas. We're good, we're good. Just about ready to rock and roll. We're gonna let them get off the field. Yeah, you can Oklahoma get field. taking on Texas here in the Lone Star Bowl. Thank you so okay, much yeah, for joining for us, for however you are watching our Facebook feed or on National Collegiate Rugby's YouTube page. Whistle sounds from the Lone Star referee and we are underway in the Lone Star Bowl. Possession secured by Sam Houston. Possibly lost there by Stockley. One of the players to watch here for the Bearcats. Lost forward says Hale. We'll have a quick tap possibly. Nope, looking to take it, but just a scrum down off the knock on. Jacob Robertson, the number nine for the Storm, getting Nancy. Here's our mark. I'm gonna be your way, your first scrum. Okay. We get set to go here. It does appear that the boys from Huntsville, Sam Houston State, with a little bit more power, a little bit more size here in this pack. They go 235, 200, 250. Come up now. Let's come up now. Hey, Crouch, we're front. just down. Bind, we're ear to ear. Then set, we come together, yeah? Hold your weight. 
Justin Hale providing the final instructions here. Make sure the boys are nice and stable. Driving straight. Bind. Set. Stable, Southern gentlemen. Nazarene stable. goes 260, 180, 225 across the board. They've got some power in there as well. This one just hit a foot, came right back out, so we'll do it again. So you see our sideline reporter, Tyler Doys, there in the background getting set up. He'll have some insight for us from the pitch. We have a beautiful day on our hands here in South Houston. Mid-70s, a little bit of a breeze, so not too much of that Texas humidity. So far, a nice, decent, stable platform there for Southern Nazarene. Robertson's able to get it out of there. This one charged down and scooped up by the Bearcats. Looked like Alvarez that was able to knock that one out. Excuse me, Stockley that was able to charge it down, scoop it up himself. Send Sam Houston on the loose here. Scooped out of there by Connor Nicholson. This one, another knock on. So a few handling errors back and forth. Scrum to black. Couple there on Sam Houston will set up another scrum for Southern Nazarene. Right here. Boys from Oklahoma, their first year playing. They sit in a D2 conference, but they are a varsity program, so playing out of the D1 division most of the time. They do make it to playoffs. Again, third in their conference this year. A very positive season thus far. Coach! So they are all finished again here in the Lone Star Conference. Sam Houston only done with about half of their matches. There's a good shove from the Storm. Nice little offload in the big tackle as well. Opens things up. Ethan Thompson streaks through and sets up the Storm here in a good attacking position. Scooped out of there by Hicken. Off to Robertson. A little, a little confusing out there. That was jo Joshua Robertson, the 10. We have three of the Robertson brothers out here playing together. One of the first times I've seen that. Three brothers on the pitch at once. And a big pop from the Bearcats. Slows the progression down. Southern Nazarene are able to hang on to it and attack again. I got it, I got it. Robertson to Robertson. All the way out to the side. Here goes Camacho. Camacho, captain of his high school team at Park Hill High School in Kansas City, Missouri. So plenty of experience there from the hooker position as well. Still playing advantage. And he's being played. I believe it was offsides of the call there from Hale. Yep, yep. We'll come here to the near side. The we'll skip up. inside. There goes Tom Tomasin. Storm just outside the 22 meter line. Advantage still on. Almost four minutes gone by. Advantage is over now. Secured possession for long enough. Made up enough territory, says Hale, but they've lost it. One back to the original offside. Up. In a mall. No, we're coming back. Offsides is going to be the call. Captain. Advantage had not been gained. Hey. I need you to get your guys on side. There's three offside penalties within a short period of time. Let's get them on side or somebody's going to get sent off early. Yeah, thank you. So he called three penalties, so it probably was advantage over there and a new penalty already given. Points. And it looks like Joshua Robertson, the 22-year-old grad student from Denton, Texas, will look to slot this one through. Yeah, yeah, you take it on, grab the Robertson, Josh, the eldest of the Robertson brothers. Jacob, just a freshman, and Joseph, a junior. Yeah, 50 seconds for the kick. All three yeah. guys out of Denton Cavalry Academy. Josh Robertson eyes, the, Robertson eyes this one, gonna let the seconds tick seconds. off, take as much time as he can. Remember, this will be a live ball. If it does not go in, the ball is live. They're able to slot this one through and give the storm a three point lead. Five minutes gone by here in the first half of action. Don't worry about it. Yeah, whenever, as long as the ball, your people are behind you. Bring in the second part of our broadcast crew. We've got wheels 
Thomas Grant with us. Wheels so far. Some steady stuff from Southern Nazarene and some messy Rock stuff from on, Sam Rock Houston. They've got a ways to go here to correct those errors. Nazarene finally able to scoop this one up. Tomasin snags it out of the air as it was a live ball. Ends up getting driven out into touch with the Bearcats. Feeling it now, you, hear the, you see the crowd there on the far side of the pitch. Starting to kick up here, supporting their hometown Bearcat, Bearcat squad. Yeah, Huntsville just about an hour or so, just north, not even that far up there. Boys from the Piney Woods. Good. Gonna make something happen here. They'll spin it out here to the near side of the pitch. Use of hands, Stockley continues at March. Here to the near side, around the corner. Here come the Bearcats. Nervous Junior, tiptoeing across the sideline, lost it forward. And out into touch. Big break from the Bearcats there. It'll set up a line out inside Nazarene's 22. Black, how many? Orange, here's your mark. Black, here's your mark. Certainly see what Sam Houston can do when they export those outer channels here, Tim. For sure, an exciting one to come. This one up over the top gets taken by the final receiver there in the line out for the storm. Let's see what kind of exit strategy they've got up their sleeves here. Boot up off the top. Dayton Bradford sends it high into the Texas sky. Scooped up there by the Bearcats, and they're looking to charge through the five and in for the first points of the match. Etienne Tenney already won a couple of MVPs throughout their season so far, showing off here on the national stage. Now oh, the Bearcats are here to play in the Lone Star Bowl. Just a failed exit there from Southern Nazarene and Etienne Tene, the man out of Dallas, Texas, in for the first try of the game. And you can certainly see these outsides for Sam Houston have a lot of pace to burn. Very silky on their feet. Is that a sign of things to come, Tim? Yep, this is your line. I think so. I mean, we saw that one exit strategy there, tried to go with the kick, but this Huntsville squad there from Sam Houston. They've got power and pace all over the pitch, and we saw just how quickly they can strike. Eight minutes gone by here in the first half, and Sam up by two with the conversion pending. Happy to take their time. In the Sam Houston side was your 2022 College Rugby Championships D1 National Champion there in the sevens back in May. Brought home the title. And they've got speed all over the pitch there from that. This one off the mark, no good, off to the left. So 5-3 will, will be our score here. Southern Nazarene to kick us back off going again. Really interesting to see the way both of these two teams control the kicking battle today. As you can see, blown in the background, the trees. Looks like there's a slight breeze down in Houston today, so kicking battle no doubt will play a key part trust me from experience out here in southeast texas you need that breeze keep things nice and playable but both these squads from again texas versus oklahoma here they know how to play in the heat not too bad december rugby weather here in the lone star state as nazarene gets us back going again strong take from the bearcats yeah, yeah, still fine. on their they're feet, still like Powell that was able to rumble through the defense. As we're doing a good job coming up with that charging defense to try and hit them behind the gain line. There's Stockley into contact. Also a little obstruction there, was able to get away from his own player there quick enough. It'll be Nicholson. Trying the right side here. Get out. Porno couldn't find much of a gap, and Nicholson will scoop it back up. Look here to the left. Nazarene playing strong defense, coming up and making that tackle. Austin Clemens, 22-year-old grad student for the Storm. Nice little inside ball to Stockley. Stockley breaks the gain line over the 10 meter as well. 
Takes three Storm players to finally get him to deck. Support arrives in time for the Bearcats. Off the foot. This one off, off the, the hands, no. knocked forward. Off the foot, says the referee, though, so we'll play on. Picking and going here is Christian the second. Christian into contact. Bearcats phase after phase stuff here, but they lost it forward. This one now being played for advantage off the scrum. Azarine Joseph Robertson takes it in. A bit of miscommunication there. The Robertson brothers are able to find that connection here. It is Joshua who takes it in, but has it ripped out. We will come back to the penalty. We had a high tackle advantage being played. So this will give the Storm Time an opportunity off. to relieve a, a little bit of pressure here from their own end. Time off. Yeah. Well, the referee got the communication in okay. from his assistant okay. referee team, just yeah. catched high around the shoulder line, and they're going to have a little discussion about it. That previous contact certainly was Sorry, a lot of brute force, but I think just the yeah. seat belt just slipped up, play. hence the penalty. It was, uh, it was like a swinging arm, and then after that goal, he Swung him down. Swing, the swing down is fine. Mm -hmm. Where did the arm land? Where did it start? Where did it land? Started down, going up. Started down, going up. You're going to be fine with that. You have a color and a number? Let's see here on the next level rugby replay. Got to have a color and a number, yeah. Tough to tell from that angle. I expect nothing more than a penalty. You don't see any contact with the head or anything that might cause the yellow to be shown. Take a close look at Justin Hale again out of Round Rock, Texas. Started a rugby club in Round Rock. Yeah, that's come over here. Now has joined Next Level Rugby Productions with the Free Tail Sevens. Hey coach, we gotta make a decision. Coming Coming up on New Coming Year's up. Eve as we take another look here. Okay. Advantage okay. was already Cheers. being played at that point. Looked like that first contact that maybe yeah. got the penalty there. Captain, both sides, we need to bring our tackles down some. We need to bring our tackles down. Yeah. We're good? Yeah, right decision there by the referee. Yeah, straight on. Just warn both teams. Make sure you set the standard yes. for the rest of the High fixture. Tackle. Of course, such a talked about part of our game is the right tackle area. How many? Five. Good communication there. It'll set up a line out right here for line here. Southern right Nazarene right, right at the midfield stripe. Nazarene was able to kick things off with the with the boot a few minutes in, cashing in off of a penalty. Yes. A big response from the Bearcats. Has them here with the two-point lead. Okay. Grimson 151. Hicken, the freshman, gets it in, but it's backed, taken away here by Sam Houston. Bearcats trying to come around the corner. They're able to find some space. Through the defense they go. Looks like a big run over the 22 now. Two to beat. Still on their feet goes Cormier. Yep, stolen. stolen. Seven meters out. He's got to leave it. Let it go. But Southern Nazarene got their hands on it and earned themselves a penalty. Yeah, they make a decision. Cool, Nathan. Cool, mate. Don't sleep on this man. Here's the replay here. Beats one, two, and just pierces through the gap. What an athlete this step man down, is. Gentlemen. Step down. Step Bloody down. Animal science out of Houston, Texas. Look at the big bend. Is it five all day? 200 pounds of them. Almost clean through to the try line, but just brought down and, of course, isolated. But look out for this man. Holden just got a little bit isolated there. Kick did come near to touch on the near side of the pitch. Strong kick for Nazarene as they set up for the line out. But it's taken again by the Bearcats. Inside the 22 meter line and looking to extend their lead. 13 minutes gone by here in the first half of the Lone Star Bowl. Bearcats are able to get this one out into the hands of Stockley. Stockley with a nice pass. They've got three and one there on the outside. Little cut back in from Lane O'Brien. Cashes in for another five points for the Bearcats. Oh, well done to the Bearcats. It all came from that fantastic break from Cormier. And Lane O'Brien 
just have to shift the hands a couple of times to the outside channel that was left vacant. And O'Brien picks up the second try of the match for the Bearcats. The man out of Woodlands in Texas studying kinesiology. Here it is here on the replay. Had a pretty clean run home. Just had to beat the last covering defender. But apart from that, pretty simple stuff for the Bearcats. And how about One the minute. dive to go with it? With authority there. Strong work from these Bearcats. Again, a lot of these players coming from the Houston area. Katie, Woodlands. So many high school programs popping up here in the state of Texas. 15 years ago, you'd be lucky to have a few guys on your club with high school experience. They are now sitting at 70% of their players on the squad already with experience in high school. Good kick, baby. Good kick, baby. Good kick, baby. kick from Tenney. Flags go up, and they are able to extend their lead now 12 to 3, the score. 15 minutes gone by in the first half. A really commanding start now from the Bearcats after the Storm traded the first blow. This back three for the Bearcats certainly looks to be a dangerous unit, but you add in the combination of Cornethi and Cormier off the I'm back. And the Storm will have to regroup and find out how they're going to counter-attack this onslaught at the moment from the Bearcats. And remember, folks, at the conclusion of this match, we will have the D1 AA final. Right after this, Louisville taking on Virginia Tech. So stay tuned here to National Collegiate Rugby's YouTube page. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, we'll send another feed out there to you as well. But right now, it's the Bearcats already up by nine, storming their way through right up to the midfield stripe. Nicholson calls off the other forward packs, flings this one out of there. Just to get them on a line break here, they'll look for some space here on the near side. Nice little fend over one, got through the second before offloading it. Big fend there from Christian the second, looks like he may have caught a little high on him. Didn't matter as he was able to sling the deck, but we will have a penalty here for the Bearcats. Okay, don't talk to me again please, don't talk to me again please. Some of these carries from the Bearcats, yes. I can feel them from up here in the commentary box. Absolutely brutal. Ready, ready. As you said, Christian the second putting in some devastating runs. Four. Off the back of the penalty, yeah, they're right, in another commanding mark. opportunity here to see what on they've me, got from me. set piece. Just over 22 meters out from the try line. So far in this one, this is the, we've already seen yeah. Sam come into the 22 twice. And both times, their scores came off of opportunities for the Storm to relieve pressure. But in open play, Sam has been outstanding. This time, they'll take the tap down. Cormier has this one in his hands. Had to offload there. But it was lost forward in that offload. Another opportunity for the Storm to try and get back in this one. Again, they had the first three up on the board, but 12 unanswered here for the Bearcats. Taking a look there. Very critical here for Southern Nazarene just to regroup and stick to what they know, their systems and their structures. They've done so well to get to this point, but as you said, Tim, the scrum battle is going to be a key one as well. This one early drive as Sam Houston got a little too aggressive before that ball came in. Got to wait until the ball enters the scrum before you start your drive. And make them pay here off the quick tap. Never ten. Offload. Sends it there, but Sam Houston was offsides. Advantage was being played, so we'll have a penalty back here for the storm. And they're going to take a quick break there and let one of their players receive some attention. 18 minutes gone by here in the first half. And Wheels, we've had a good one, but so far, no, Sam gave, Houston has proved a, to be a little bit a more dangerous. Penalty, I gave an it's been an entertaining opening 18 minutes to this fixture, and Sam Houston just doing really well to, to have some really great game line carries and, and break through the Southern Nazarene defense. Some big bull runners, no doubt, and that is their tactic. The likes of Cormier, as we've already seen, having a huge impact on this game, but... I think the team that continues to, to move the ball to the width and, and get it to the outside channels will go the distance in this game. And the 
This is a strong Bearcat side. Again, lots of strength, multiple guys well up over 200 pounds in that pack. But then they've got the speed on the outside as well. Again, winning the Sevens D1 CRC National Championships back in May. So get the applause as the Storm player back on his feet here. But again, power inside, speed outside. Players that know how to get it done on the national level. So a big challenge for the Storm here as they come into Texas and try to take home the Lone Star Bowl. For offside. Yes. So Raymond Serrano there, the head coach of the Bearcats. This one lost backwards. Says our referee Hale. In the contact, Clemens is able to get the offload there to Robertson. Robertson with the chip kick up over the top, but it's collected nicely there on the far side. The tackle's good. Bearcats scrambling here, not much of a counter attack on. Just going to slow it down. Christian the second gets in there. Allows Nicholson to fling it back out. In contact goes Torno. Torno just a freshman, but it's already been on tour with Eagles Impact Rugby there from the hooker spot. Stockley with the big pass over to the far side of the pitch. On this one is Tenney. Goes around one, ends up getting flung to deck here. About 30 meters out. He had that one ripped out, but he did, did well to hang on to it and set up the Bearcats here in a charging position. Over the 22 meter line they go. Nicholson back out again into the hands of Boacek. The near side, nice inside pass from Christian. There to Alvarez. Alvarez just outside the 22. Low just before the tackle. Pushes him across the gain line. Got numbers there on the far side, but it ends up getting dropped there. Michael Fike couldn't hang on to it. Penalty advantage was being played. Offsides there for Nazarene. And so Sam Houston will have the penalty in a big attacking spot. Special mark. I really like the tempo that the Bearcats are playing at the moment. Just really controlling the, the pace of the game. And another opportunity here to enter into dangerous territory for the Storm. But really looking organized unit. Some lovely interplay of hands, some lovely tip passes. and. Black, here's our mark. No doubt, Coach Ramon Serrano will be very happy with the opening yeah. 20 minutes for the Bearcats. Black, let's get in. To expand upon that, cash in here. Yes. About six meters out. See what kind of driving mall they've got up their sleeve here. They're able to get it back into the hands. Looks like Torno's the one that's got it. Bring it to deck, they gotta have that ball playable. They're able to present it nicely. So they'll continue moving forward. Right at the line, go the Bearcats. Held up our call, goal line drop out for the Storm. Nice defensive stand. On the five, yes. Yeah, great yes, defense the there five. from the Storm. Desperation stuff to earn the goal line drop out. The mall was constructed it's pretty well from the Bearcats, but it's the Storm, it's a drop kick. the likes of Camacho, did a great job of getting under the ball. As you see the replay here, the top of your screen. Number three, Austin Clemens. Fantastic job to get under the ball there. A little bit of a wrestling move. Gets the job done and we're back underway, Tim. And a big catch there from Tenney on the far side. He bursts right into the black jerseys. Not afraid of the contact is the winger. No, you gotta release Orange. No, Orange. No, he may have gotten it ripped away in the tackle. Well done to Vita Crisp, the grad student. Rips it out of the tackle and secures possession here for the Storm. Chip kick up over the top. This is where Sam Houston can really be dangerous. On the counterattack, Stockley. Jackson, back left, back Good left. job fending off one, through the second, through the third, dragging the fourth, one meter out though, has to send this one back. Almost there for Jackson Stockley. He did lose it forward. Nazarene with their second defensive stand in as many minutes. Really do want to sing the praises here of Etienne Etienne. The man only weighs 175, but he's certainly running like he does not weigh that. Here's that carry from Stockley. Just pulled up inches short of the line. And again, the storm, that's two repetitive 
efforts to, to stop them close to the line. And that's a little bit of confidence you can take heading into the scrum. Set and run! Stockley sitting there at 6'3", 220, exactly what you want out of your inside center. And now they're able to take it off the bat. Cormier. Cruz to have a dominant scrum there with Sam Houston. They've got numbers there on the far side. O'Brien gets it out through the wing and they're able to score through the hands of Etienne Tenney. Tenney again, you just called it, runs with power and strength and he's able to show it off again for the try. Well, right on cue for Tenney. That is his second of the game. Again, quick hands do the job for the Bearcats. Plenty of space just for Tenney to have a clean run home as you see here on the replay. The fullback, O'Brien, who just shifted it out left nice and quickly to Tenney, who really had a pretty easy run into the try line. Finding it all too easy at the moment, Tim. Upstart to try and come out of their own end. Southern Nazarene is looking for any sort of answers when they're backed in inside their own 22. I'll tell you the wrong answer. Might be kicking it out there to big number 11, who shows off his speed and pace. It's Tenney. And one of the stars out of Lake Ridge High School in Dallas, Texas. Nursing major looking to deliver the wounds here today. So set up for Lane Bryan, the sophomore out of the Woodlands. Strikes this one, but off the mark, no good. So 17 to three, our score, 24 minutes gone by in the first half, and we'll take another look at that try. Here's the replay again. O'Brien did a great good, job there of just squaring up the defenders, which made the job all too easier for Tenney there. And aren't they happy about it? Look at their reactions. We got to hand it there to the fullback lane, O'Brien. He caught that one at pace, like you said, squared up, took that defensive, defensive line on, allowing Tenney to have a little bit more space out there. Made that excellent pass, got him a little assist there and he was like you said extremely happy to see what these boys have done here in the first half nice high kick big contest there finally taken in the end by blake powell no don't plug to my rock huge pop right in the center of the pitch a big run from Vojcik lowers the boom and the bearcats continue to show off this unique blend of power and pace but just lost, lost off the hands there from Blake Powell Captain. out into touch. Option. Turnover back to it's Southern not Nazarene. Into touch, so you can have the scrum or you can have the line out. Yeah, but unfortunate there. Powell just coughing the ball forward, but Alvarez, Captain, Matthew Alvarez, did a great job of taking the line on there. And scrum. Not into touch. Scrum to Black hair. Guys, the mark is here. Being watched on the down, yeah. 17 unanswered points for the Bearcats. As Nazarene were able to play most of the first five minutes or so in Sam Houston's half of the pitch. Since then, this is probably the closest they've gotten. Steady, gentlemen. Just five meters inside. Jacob Robertson, the freshman, puts this one in. A huge shove from the Bearcats, but they're able to take it out the back there with Rona. Rona keeps it here into Bearcat territory. They're spinning it here on the near side to Bradford. Bradford through the hands. Pass not taken cleanly. They're having to scramble here through the ruck. Well done there by Sam Houston. Excellent counter. Looked like he may have been a little in from the side, but he did go through the defense right before that. He was able to play that one, says a referee, Justin Hale, and will continue to march on. Bearcats with a nice little fake. There he goes through the center of the pitch. Nicholson tries to offload, but it's tapped backwards. Looks like Nazarene are on that line there. They are Doug Corgan. Says not yet. The ball is free. No black. 
Black, you're offside and in the ruck. Back 10. Back 10. Back 10. We heard it from our referee. Offsides were Nazarene. And another opportunity just about 10 meters out. Stockley's going to take this one right through the defense. Six foot three, 210. And Stockley just too much. Doug, I need you to be there. Too much to power, to too much strength. And he knows what to do that you close to the drive. <laughs> Yeah, this is your line. You got about a step inside of it. Yeah. Yeah, one minute for the kick. Stockley again, one of the it's like six or seven different rock rugby players. Rock rugby. Out of, again, Round Rock High School. They've been able to bring a few other high schools in and what they've been able to put together out there, they now have a full training facility and private pitch. Thanks to coach Paul Rock McCartney out of Life University has really brought a lot of talent and a lot of experience to the state of Texas with all their boys playing all over the country as that academy has grown just from a single seconds. school now to multiple school and putting in U23 women's and men's sides all over the country. So good to see a lot of that work coming to fruition in Jackson Stokely from that area as well. He's also at Lone Star Conference All-Star this year, and he's proven why here in the early goings of the first half. This one off the mark, no good. But here in the Lone Star Bowl, it's still Sam Houston on top big with four unanswered tries. I'm oh, really interested no, to I'm see good. how the Storm respond here. And I think the first thing they can do to really get themselves back in the game is, is a really deep, long restart. The kick's only as good as its chase. They really need the line speed up here and to force pressure on the, the Bearcats to make an exit. Yeah, yeah time's off. Joshua time's Robertson, off. the 10, or rather Dayton Bradford, who's got the kicking duties. What number are they checking It all on? starts here for the Storm if they're to launch a raid here. Justin Hale there, a referee again from the Lone Star Rugby Referee Society. Also have yeah. Wayne Engelbrick there on the far side, Doug Corrigan also from Lone Star as well, and then Andy Buck out of the New York State referees. So referees from all over Did the country right coming right together here for here. National Collegiate Rugby okay. put on this fantastic tournament. Again, special thanks also to the Houston Sabercats and everybody here at Aviva Stadium that has made this building such a great host the last two years next level rugby producing the magic as we go through the tournament special okay. thanks to everybody back at the studio there as well tim wilkes and wheels thomas grant on the call with you live from the lone star bowl again four unanswered tribe for the bearcats definitely have southern nazarene on their heels 15 black. Isn't that really critical Isn't period of the game off? here. The last 10 minutes heading into yeah. half time. We've seen in so many fixtures before how, how this period can Thank really you. make or break a game of rugby. So time back on. the Bearcats will be looking to keep the foot on the throttle. In the Southern Nazarene side, no Action. slouches. They finished third Scrum in their conference this year. Scrum. Their big loss to Principia in the conference semifinals. Principia had a good performance yesterday on the D2 side of things. The Thunder Chickens, too dominant there out of the conference, but this is a squad, again, supported by the school, a varsity rugby club, something that Sam Houston is not. We'll see a lot of these players. We've already got one guy from Johannesburg, South Africa, on the roster for Southern Nazarene as they continue to recruit and build this program that is still in its infancy in the first year. Set. Hold steady, gentlemen. Steady, steady. Put into the scrum here by Connor Nicholson. As that kick did not go 10, so scrum center is where the Bearcats will work from. This one a bit awry off the foot. Well done there. Nervous Jr. almost had the scoop and ends up knocking it out into touch. Scrum down is going to be the choice here for Southern Nazarene. Scrum. 
Scrum. Hey, well, no, Joe, here's your nervous junior. You can see how keen he is to get the ball into his hands. He's probably been a bit lonely in the past 15 or so minutes as the ball's mainly been going out to the left side in the, the form of Tenny's hands, but Joe Nervous Jr., man out of Houston, playing in his hometown today, studying computer engineering. At a humble high school. Certainly as a unit. First, come up, come up, yeah, come first up, come season up, come of rugby, so plenty to build off of here in his initial run at it, just a junior, so still one, possibly two more years of eligibility left. Thank you. Reset here. Jacob Robertson, the freshman out of Denton. Put this one in to restart things for the storm. But it's taken right away. Well done. Hooking that one back. Drake Torno here for the Bearcats. They've got speed there on the far side of the pitch. Nice little dummy there by O'Brien. First through the defense over the 10 meter line. Now is Sam Houston. Just to slow it down a little bit. Set up the attack. Forward pack up to the game line. They'll try to go find some space there on the weak side. O'Brien with a nice little offload there to Powell. Powell over the 22 meter line. One to beat, tries to go around. Ends up losing this one forward. To May have stepped out as well as you hear Justin Hale into, into touch. touch. So we'll have a line out coming here for Nazarene. But again, that speed on the far side, a big break there from Powell. Now uh, Blake Powell, we spoke about him in the pregame. Here's the breakaway here. Just gliding on through and had of course that man Tenny on his inside that he could have given the pass away, but he just tried to at the last minute and the storm doing everything to stop. Four. Here we go. Another certain try almost, but good job by the Storm, just clinging on. Exactly, ushering him out into touch, but it's the Bearcats that are able to take this one off the back of the line now. Bohacek shakes off a defender and dives in himself. Got the take off the top, shrugged off the tackle, and scores another five points for Sam Houston. Well done, Larry Bohacek. Fantastic at the line out there for the Bear Catch, just doing enough to get in and disrupt, of course. Voha check, just waiting at the back. Was happy enough to receive the ball and still had to do quite a bit of work to get to the try line. You can see the strength of the man. The man out of Alvin, Texas. Very, very happy with that one. All 230 pounds of him. Certainly a lot of brute force to stop. Defenders on either side of him there, trying to hold him up. But the big man just laid down and got himself the try. Wojciech, just a freshman, you know, out of Alvin High School. Played for the Brazoria Spartans, so he's a hometown kid as well. Getting back for the kick here. Looks like Tenny's gonna try and stab at this one just off of the crossbar. No good, but the Bearcats Captain. are clicking Captain. on all cylinders right and now here in the Lone Star Bowl. First we match of four. Yeah. We'll take okay, a second look at the try. Because it's coming professional fouls. Okay, okay. Yeah, get out those tackles. As you can see, he still had to do quite a bit of work there, Tim. It was impressive strength. Let's go with check there again. 6'3, 230. Scouring the pitch there from that lock position. About five minutes left to play here in the first half. Bradford will send this one up high. Taken cleanly this time. Stockley with the sure hands there. Flinging it back, moving the wrong direction now with the Bearcats. Let's see if Nazarene come and pin them deep here. They are able to take this one away. So now it's the storm ready to attack. But that door slammed closed. They'll look for an opening here on the near side. Robertson couldn't find much. Take a step, take a step. Yes. Still just outside the 22. Robertson again. Looking for the big boys running through, through the hands of both props, May and Clemens. And support a little bit late, but they're able to still secure possession. 
Robertson, skip pass up over the top. Looking to find the big boys here, Rona. Back into the hands of Camacho. Camacho around the side. I tackled the call, so a penalty is going to be earned there. They'll take the quick tap. Jonathan Morona, 10 meters out. Backwards. Takes this one with a soft tackle there. Offloads it back to Robertson. Couldn't find much there on the near side. Joe Nervous Jr. was able to blow that one up. And now it was rumbled through. Offsides the call, so an opportunity here for the storm. Six meters out now. Nice run there by Chris. Have it back out, Jacob over. Robinson through over to the far side. Bad pass ends up into the and hands backwards. of Shadid. No He's a little bit isolated there on the far side, but the Storm are able to come back up. Almost kicked yeah, through. The, the boys in black are still pushing forward. A nice drive. Looks like Sam might be underneath it, though. Held up, gentlemen. Gentlemen, held up. Gentlemen, held up. Justin Hale sees the same thing. No try awarded. So we'll have a goal line drop, a big defensive stand the first time we've seen the Bearcats with that ability as well. Time's off. Just a wee taste of what the Storm can do when they maintain position and keep the ball in hand. Massive props to number five, Tavita Crisp, the big lock. A couple of really important carries there for the Storm, and they go oh so close. But nevertheless, the goal line Let's dropout it, will see them have another crack at this Bearcats defense before we head into half time. Ready, ready, up! Kick here will not find touch. Going to be taken by the Storm as they look to push their way back into this one. Nice run through. Stockley with the solid tackle just in front of the 22 meter line. No, no. Definitely in from the side there. Wanted to play on, but taking out the scrum half before that ball comes out is definitely a no-no. Hale dings him with it, but now it's Camacho rumbling through the defense and scores the try. Luis Camacho, the freshman, making his presence felt here on the Lone Star Bowl. Luis Camacho, and isn't he pumped up? He knows how important that score is for Southern Nazarene. Sheer determination. Look at the quick tap here. Had to beat a good assortment of defenders, but look at the sheer determination and drive to want to get over that white dotted line. And the storm are right back in this one. Great stuff. Thundered right through the defense there. Almost a tackle there. O'Brien was in good position for the Bearcats. But as you said, the hooker Camacho, too much strength and power as he drove through for the first what, what try of the day the for the storm. Tyler's going to be talking to us on, on camera five. Camacho, captain his Same high school two. rugby okay. club, Park Hill High School okay. out of Kansas okay. City, Missouri. 30 seconds. Has been recognized as one of the you. game breakers here right, on the D1 on side on of things. On that real quick. Three, one, take, one. take a second as Joshua Robertson Hold eyes on. up the conversion. Go ahead, Tyler. Good key. Right between the okay, posts. There, so work. Right to and the Storm are right back in it here from beautiful That's Aviva Stadium. We haven't checked out these facilities before. Definitely top of the line. One of the best here in the MLR. Sabercats will look to start their season in February. But right now, this pitch belongs to the Bearcats as they are up big here in the first half. Just a few minutes left to play here in the Lone Star Bowl. Tim Wilkes with wheels and Tyler Doidge down on the sidelines as well as we look to get back underway again. Taken in the back, scooped up there, Clemens. Take it across the pitch into contact but loses it forward. Unfortunate there for the Storm. And it's the Bearcats right back in possession will look to come through with more points of their own. Stockley just kind of miss hit that one a bit. Kicked it through, but it was knocked on. It was able to pry enough pressure there. And our halftime whistle sounds as the Sam Houston State Bearcats are playing well here. Southern Nazarene has not been able to get back into it. They had the try there, but we'll actually take send it down to Tyler Deutsch, who's got some info from the sidelines. Tyler. SNU rugby head coach here. You put points on the board first. You did a good job getting one in before the half. 
What's your plan to stop their offense going into the second half? Well, we got to manage to maintain our own attack first. We're, we're play, we play the whole half on defense, and we're not matching their intensity. We knew they bring a, a big physical experience side. Their attack is showing that. If we can manage to, to, to hold on to our own attack, uh, then maybe we have a chance there to uh, put, put some more points on the board and keep them from scoring. Definitely, and this is your first year inaugural program. Do you think nerves might be playing a little bit of a factor right now? No, these boys have been working since August 10th. I mean, they're ready to play. They just got to step up their intensity, match their attack uh, with our defense, and, and they'll be all right. Awesome, Coach. Well, we look good forward to a good second half. Back to you guys in the booth. Thank you, Tyler. Eric Gilliland looks to be positive here for Southern Nazarene, but it has been all Bearcats here in the first half. We'll take a break, and we'll have the second half of the Lone Star Bowl when we return. fans, welcome to beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana. We have seven drug action coming for you all day. Yeah, we up the spot, then we run it. Ready get not, here we coming. Somebody better say a prayer for me. Tonight may get a little crazy. Handles that one, finally moving out. It looks like they are in the try zone again, extending their lead. In our game, we play with our hearts. We don't play with sticks, bats, or gloves. We don't wear shoulder pads or helmets. We keep playing when it hurts. And we leave everything on the field. What we wear must be built for our game. Since 1979, we've been searching for perfection. We've been thinking, sketching, and designing. We've been building, assembling, and strengthening. We've been cutting, shaping, and painting. Uh, flip at the top. Yeah. Right now, it's not even serious. Yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, and they're getting dominated, so they're making it. They're making it tough. Uh, We've created strength and beauty, time and again. Our machines are made for one thing. The perfect hit. We are the crouch. We are the bind. We are the set. We are the squeeze. We are the hit. We are Rhino. Home of the scrum. Welcome back to the Lone Star State. Aviva Stadium is the home of the 2022 National Collegiate Rugby Fall Men's National Championships. We've got Sam Houston State taking on Southern Nazarene, and we'll send it down to Tyler Doidge. We'll take it back here as we see the highlights of the first half. Too much Sam Houston as we see the big try from Volacek, the freshman. 230 pounds, lays it down for the try. 
but it was Southern Nazarene getting their first of the match right there through the hands of Luis Camacho. Kansas City native gets it done. We'll send it down now to Tyler Deutsch. Tyler, what you got for us? The state coach Raymond here. You guys have had a powerful first half. They didn't make it easy for you at first. You found a few holes. What are you going to do to maintain the pace? Uh, we just need to limit our mistakes. Uh, a few miscues in that first 15 until we gathered ourselves and uh, I think we got a, a good head of steam right now. Uh, we just got to limit those mistakes, and I think uh, I think they'll be all right. We've been preaching short-term memory this whole time. Uh, I think they're gonna I think they're gonna find the work here and get it going. Awesome. Well, we look forward to a good second half here, Coach. Thanks for taking the time. Back to you guys up at the booth. Captain Tyler. Thank you, Tyler, and thank you, Coach Serrano. Excellent work from his squad there in the first yeah, half a, to open up the big lead. Back ten. Yeah. Let him get off. Penalty off of the kick there. Tackle in the air. Tackle in the air. Again, you have to make sure that the receiver lands back onto the pitch before you make contact. Five. Five. Get mighty dangerous there. If not, this one will be sent out into touch. And it'll be a line out here for the storm. get set. Your mark's there. So Your mark's wheels, there. we had a good first half. Southern Nazarene was able to score that try in the dying moments. We heard from their coach, but what do you think they've got to do here to be able to stay involved in this match? Yeah, look, that, that last try for, for the Southern Nazarene side will give them plenty of confidence. I mean, they were down 20 yeah, plus points on the scoreboard, but to, to get that last score into the half time is extremely critical. And, and for them, they've just got to stay composed and, and get into their structure like they're doing right now because they certainly look dangerous for ball in hand. Gillian said we have to match their intensity. Sam Houston definitely came through as a force there in the first half, but the Storm are looking to make their presence felt here in the second. Nice burst through from Creed Hicken. Hicken over the 10 meter line, lost it forward. Thank we'll you. come back, I believe, to a penalty all the way before midfield. Yeah. See the player down and back play there just for a little bit of an injury. Hey, Captain. I think referee Hale had a really good first half as well. Controlled the breakdown hey, really well as a referee. And Too many offside penalties, was really somebody's going to leave. Clear around hey, get his high tackle protocols, which was, which was great to see. And, and I think, Tim, you're a fellow referee as well. I think his communication's been spot on as well to, to both sets of these players, which is, uh, which is great to see. For sure. What? Hey, we need water. You, you can play with 14 if you want to. Yeah, do you always? We see Justin discussing yeah, things with Southern Nazarene to see if they want to play with 14 guys or pull one off here. Give them a little extra time maybe to shake this injury off. Looks like the decision has been made to bring on another player here. The other one will just come off there on the far side of the pitch. Hey, That's Shadid that will be off. But we were back in action here, just a couple minutes gone by in the second half. Southern Nazarene were down big in the first. They were able to answer with the try just before the final whistle of the first half. They now look to extend things here on the far side. There's the try score, Camacho. Just five foot seven, 180, but with all sorts of power to be able to get underneath the defense. Rumble through there from Kennedy. Doesn't get much, and the Bearcats are able to hold him up. Good job, though, by Kennedy to offload that one before it gets blown up. Clemens couldn't make much out of it, but it's the Storm still in possession inside Sam Houston's half of the pitch. Charging defense coming up from Christian II. Forces them to spin out of it, Morona. Got tackled up high, so now penalty advantage being played for the Storm. Torno is almost in position for the poach there, but advantage listen to the referee and let go. Nice little offload in the tackle, and we see Austin Clemens again, trying to find some space there, and the prop rumbles through one, must release now. Like Powell just kind of came off his feet. Hale ushers him back and now it's the storm yet again get inching towards that 22 meter line 
probably some of the best phase play we've seen from them. Right up the gut they go. Clemens still trying to stay on his feet. Now they'll bring Robertson to Robertson. Skip pass out to the outside. Finds Warona. Solid tackles from the Bearcats. Continue to push the storm back. No two. Turn straight forward. They go through Kennedy. And again, this time through his hands of his brother. Look to make something happen here on the near side by Bradford. Bradford with the boot up over the top. Has some space between the posts. Ball is still bouncing. Can he get to it? Still a scramble. Try finally awarded. Big time boot as they're able to get all the way through. Dayton Bradford with the first try of the second half for Southern Nazarene. Uh, Dayton Bradford, the man out of... Tulsa, that is a little bit of individual brilliance to spark up the second half of the storm. You heard coach uh, Rick Gilliland speaking about matching the Bearcats' intensity, and this is one way to certainly light that up. A bit of trickery, and then the chip and chase still had a lot of meterage to cover off, but as you can see, he was going toe to toe with O'Brien there, and they both fell to the ground. and Luckily, just dove on it at the last minute to secure good, the second try of the game for the Storm. And what a start to the second half of that man, Dayton Bradford, out of Yukon High School. You can see he's very chuffed the, about it. Yeah, with the unpredictable bounce of the rugby ball there, was able to secure possession. And really, a smart kick. It looked like he had numbers there on the near side. But as the whole defense came across to try and slow them down. He smartly just kicked it right over the top of their heads as we see the whole center of the pitch that was open there. So smartly done. And we've seen this storm come through here in the second half with the first five points up on the board. 15. O'Brien with the kick. Excuse me, that was Christensen striking that one through there for the Storm. And so a little bit closer come the Crimson Storm. Inching their way back into this Lone Star Bowl. Oklahoma versus Texas here. And we'll take a second look, Wheels. Here's the trickery. He just absolutely sold the dummy. It was brilliant stuff. And as you said, Tim, the unpredictable bounce of a rugby ball can sometimes fall in your favor. And it's certainly the flip of the coin landed on Bradford's side. Here come the storm. Back in action we go here. Take, taken off the top by Tomasin. He gets back up on his feet and has another go at it. No wrap going to be the call. So the dangerous tackle will give penalty advantage back to the Crimson Storm. And they're able to rumble through. Clemens has been hard to break down the last few minutes. As he continues some good work there from the prop position. May getting involved. Now they'll spin it out to the far side of the pitch. Robertson with another skip pass. He's been pinpoint with those. Finds the charging Camacho. First half try scorer couldn't find much room. Sam Houston gets up into the teeth of the attack here. Slows things down for a minute, but now they're able to burst back through to Vita Crisp. Finds an angle on his way through the defense. Big counter up, but Robertson's able to take it out of there Knock just in time. Advantage. Gets knocked on, and now the counterattack coming from O'Brien. O'Brien gets it off. They've got space there on the far side of the pitch. Into the hands of Tenney. Looked a bit high. Hale agrees. Yeah, great. Call there by the referee, yes. Tenney, just getting caught high, and he's such a hard man to defend as well. Just his changes of acceleration and his footwork makes him such a tough character to defend against. And the Bearcats will be very happy to get the penalty here because the Storm are really starting to regain a little bit more of momentum. Two tries in a row there from the Crimson Storm. Sam Houston still feeling good though, up by 10. Two tries will get Southern Nazarene right back in it. Eight minutes gone by here in the second half. Lone Star Bowl action live from Aviva Stadium. The Sam Houston State Bearcats just about an hour away 
here from Aviva Stadium. They've got the home crowd with them and they've got speed to burn here. Goes Tenney again, this time through the center of the pitch. Ended up losing it though, somehow ended back up with it on the deck. So knock on gonna be the call and Southern Nazarene just like that. Ball back in hand again. Two minutes on the bin, yes. Yeah, just spilt the ball forward there at the last minute, but really threatening from set piece are the Bearcats and they've really been starved of those opportunities in the last 20 to 25 minutes Southern Nazarene doing a good job just to get in and disrupt anything that the Bearcats have thrown at them really in this last quarter of the game back 10 Orange back 10 Sam Houston will get sent back here but I think we may not have caught it on camera as Sam Houston State is now playing That's with 14 fine. men. They were playing with only seven there in the line out. It just looks fine. like it may have been Corinthian Cormier who got sent off in that eight man no, spot. We I heard Justin Hale say they've got about two minutes left on that bin. And so now it's Sam Houston looking to push through. Matthew Alvarez over the 22 meter line. One man to beat, cuts by him, dives in. And Sam Houston State had two tries given up in a row, but they are back on the board here in the second half. 32 to 17, now their lead. Well, that is certainly one way to respond for the Bearcats. Matthew Alvarez, the man out of Carrolltown in Texas. A bit of individual brilliance again in the fly half jersey. So we wait for the replay to come up, have a look at it, just takes the line on and sold the dummy and a clean, clean pair of heels, had to beat one cover defender and fantastic showing of speed and skill to get the Bearcats on the board again in the second half. Mostly seen Alvarez spinning it through the hands but that time a beautiful dummy just spread that defense apart and he was able to shoot through and then showed that speed to take on the defenders and get around them. Tenney with the kick adds the extra two points. And boy, two unanswered tries you, there for you, Southern Nazarene. You. That was exactly what Sam Houston your needed. Back. Your uh, it's exactly what you want from your, your first five as well. The ability to be able to distribute and then take opportunities when you see them. And Alvarez certainly did on that occasion. Response there for a try for Sam Houston State. We heard Justin Hale ushering on that yellow card. So it's Sam Houston able to capitalize on that. Down a man, didn't matter. They were still able to answer with the try. They're back to full strength now, up by 17 points. 11 minutes gone by here in the first half of action in this Lone Star Bowl. Knock on advantage. The boys from Oklahoma down big, but they're able to get the knock on their advantage. I got it. No That's advantage gain, so they'll still have a scrum down just outside yes. the 22-meter line to restart. Coming back to the original knock. I think you can definitely check off the intensity box for Southern Nazarene so far in the second half. They look as if they're playing with a lot less fear, uh, a lot more direct in their carries, not shying away on defense than we saw in the opening 20 minutes of this game, that they were certainly shying away from the defensive area and, and not carrying with as much vigor, but it's good to see that they're really starting to get into their flow now. The Cats were able to come in with four unanswered tries after the first three points were taken by the Storm. Got smacked in the mouth a bit there, but their coach, Gilliland, had the words at halftime. We just got to bring the aggression, and that's what we've seen here in the second half. They've got some space there on the far side of the pitch. Robertson to Robertson, out into the hands of Tomasin. Just holds things up, lets the support arrive. Take a step. Good there. You're good there. To secure it nicely and back on the attack again they go just outside the 22 meter line Camacho takes it through Camacho's got that strength as well one of the game breakers here for the storm they'll look to take it here to the near side of the pitch nice little skip pass out to the wing back inside goes Johnson Johnson with the return back to the outside looking for Chris but couldn't hang on turnover back to the Bearcats Nicholson will come in swing it back to the charging forward pack. Now they'll take it long. back. 
still running from their own end. Nothing happening there. Support's got to get quick. They're able to arrive just in time. I think we are still playing possible advantage. Advantage over. Just a scrum advantage, and they're able to blow through that. And now the kick coming from O'Brien. Over the top of the defense, a little bit of wind blowing in the face there. Able to get some backspin on it into the hands of Tenney, who gets driven into touch, unfortunately. But good work from the Sam Houston State Bearcats to find an exit strategy there and relieve a little bit of pressure. Well, it was a really fortuitous bounce there for Lane O'Brien. He put up the high up and under, and the Storm made the decision to let it bounce, and it almost cost them. If O'Brien could have freed his hands a little bit more to Tenney, who got taken into touch eventually, but a bit of heart and mouth stuff there. This one through the hands of the jumpers, but ends up getting knocked backwards here towards the Bearcats. Through the defense goes Stockley. Ends up chipping this one up, gonna take it himself. Back again with another charge. Over the midfield stripe go the Bearcats. Take a step, Black! Black, take a step! ushering the Crimson Storm back. So they stay on sides here. Numbers here if they can get it all the way out wide. Alvarez again inside with it. Gets it into the hands of James. Preston James keeps it moving for the Bearcats. All the way out to the near side to Tenney. Tenney has some numbers here on the near. Makes that pass off to the left to Powell. Powell 10 meters out now. Strong tackle from the defense. Shoves him back. Alexander yeah, Johnson fine. there with the fine. tackle. Tackle. Bearcats now about 12 meters out. Up by 17. They find some space here on the near side. Injured player gets back on his feet and makes the try saving tackle. Strong work from Alexander Johnson. Was on the deck in pain, saw the ball coming his way, jumped up and made the try saving tackle. Well done there from the Crimson Storm. It was beautiful. That's great stuff there from Johnson. He was not in a great way on the ground. Had his head in between his arms and a lot of pain, but last minute desperation, and you can see him getting attended to now. No doubt having to make that tackle only made matters worse for his injury, so hopefully everything's okay with Johnson there, but he certainly has earned a good pat on the back for that try saver. I mean, the Bearcats had two guys in open space there and the big Blake Powell six foot 175 good, was charging through but a huge tackle made by the Crimson Storm see his injuries being tended to we'll take a look at some of the tries and stuff we've seen earlier on in the match Bradford with this beauty here about 10 minutes ago Got the storm right back into it. With the spin to the outside there from Tenney. Had it stolen away. Strong work from both here in the second half. Alvarez with the big response. There for the boys from Huntsville. Got them back on the board for the first time in the second half. As we sit here, strong match. Looking to get a couple of the players off the pitch. The wheels as we go. We've definitely seen an uptick in the pace and aggression here from this Crimson Storm squad. Yeah, most definitely. And 25 minutes to go. Be interesting to see how they opt to use their reserves today. Okay. Again, haven't opted for the bench yet, really, either of these two teams. So no doubt we'll play a critical factor in the last quarter and a half of this one. Yeah, see Black, like like Joshua Robertson there on screen looks to be leaving the field. Definitely doesn't look in a good way. Yeah. So Black's gonna need a sub. fingers Black's crossed gonna need it's a good sub. outcome yeah. for that man in the number 10 jersey. Uh, Unfortunate to, to see he right does now. leave his when, other when, two when brothers, when Joseph three. Robertson and Jacob Robertson, back on the pitch. I mean, we were talking before the match, one of the first times we've ever seen three brothers yes. out there together. So another pretty cool thing to hang your hat on for the Crimson Storm. Yeah, yep, yeah, I got you. Love to know who wins the, the backyard rugby battle out of the three Robertson brothers. Have to get some intel on that. No doubt some fierce rivalries in the backyard. 
Joshua, the oldest at 22. Grad student, but does have old Joseph Robertson playing that lock position, six foot one, 215. I'm sure the older brother has some tricks up his sleeves there. As he comes off the pitch, and we just are just about ready to get back going again. 15 minutes into this second half of the Lone Star Bowl. Players enjoying, enjoying the cameras, enjoying the fun out here, showing off their athleticism. Yes, yes. Got a good crowd here at Aviva Stadium. He's right. He's the one here on the sideline. It's been a fun weekend, and don't forget, folks, we still have three more matches on the docket this afternoon. Right after this one, we've got Louisville taking on Virginia Tech, then the Rhino Bowl, Notre Dame and Boise State, and then at 6 p.m., Brown versus Queens in the D1 final. John Broker and Craig Wilson will have the call for you here live on National Collegiate Rugby's YouTube page. Special thanks for watching us on the Facebook feed as well as there a substitution comes on to the pitch. It will be Adrian Walker entering the match for the Crimson Storm. Thank you. Time on. And here we go. Put into the scrum for Southern Nazarene. Really critical that Southern Nazarene get a deep, long exit here and Relieve the pressure being applied by Sam me. Houston. Coach! Saw this position in the first half, and it was Southern Nazarene struggling to find an exit strategy with the wind at their face. They've got the wind at their backs now, but a strong push from the Bearcats sends them back, and now they attack from the five-meter line. Stockley through one, big tackle. Well done, looked like. Hicken that was able to take down the big Stockley who was rumbling through. Strong work there on the far side as well. Bearcats still in possession. They'll keep it inside. Look for Torno. Squirting through the defense. Carrying two with them and slams it down for the try. Big time work from Drake Torno, the freshman, showing his strength. Brilliant stuff there from Drake Torno. And we've seen his opposite for Southern Nazarene score a similar try of determination just absolutely relentlessly driving towards the try line look at this on the replay had to do an amount of work to get through those defenders and just did not give up until the ball got over that line look at that that is a really crucial score there for the Bearcats the man studying geology out of Liberty Hill High school will be very happy if that, and a, and a really critical score for the Bearcats in the second half. Back to the woods, Liberty Hill, out of four points rugby club in Leander. The shining stars of that club sent down here on the collegiate level. Good to see all the growth on the high school level here in Texas. Giving way to a lot of great experience here for the boys. Sam Houston able to extend their lead. We will get back underway. Dayton Bradford sends it high into the Texas sky, taken at the 22 and just stabbed right back. Big opening there behind the defense, and this one will trickle out into touch, and that's an excellent way to relieve the pressure. Nobody back deep and just send it forward. How many? How many? I can't hear you at all. Orange 15 was offside on that kick. Oh, it, went, it went hit out. Yeah. Black, how many? Five, here we go. Is it five all day? Black, five all day. Southern Nazarene will be looking to hit back really quickly. The Bearcats with the last two scores just grabbing that ascendancy again. Get set for the line out here. This one, not quite straight. Justin Hale, our referee from the Lone Star Conference. Line out. Yeah, same mark. Ask and see what Sam Houston wants. Sam chooses the line out, so we'll have it again this time. Throw in for the boys in orange. Black in, please. We'll take this opportunity to send it down to Tyler Doidge, who has a Bearcat with him. Tyler, what you got? Here with the Sam Houston State bench, and we're here with Dag, freshman here at the program. 
14, 15. Tell me, what is it like being here playing at an MLR stadium like Aviva Stadium? Very, it's very awesome, man. I'm, it's glad, I'm glad to see my team winning right now, and it's uh, very, you know, it's very, I'm very thankful for us. <laughs> I'm very thankful for us, like, you know, um, you know, being able to come here and compete. So, yeah, so. And as far as this kind of being, you know, the period on your season, how did this year go, and what are you guys looking forward to next year? You know, just getting our program out there, you know, um, you know, fundraising and all that, you know, I just want the best for our team, man. You know, we out here showing that we're capable of it. So, yeah, we just want to expand our community and our team. So, Sounds good. Well, I appreciate you guys taking time to talk to me. Back to you guys, brother. Thank you, Tyler. As we see the Bearcats under immense pressure here, have to use the boot from their own tri-zone. Opportunity now is this one through the back of the hand. Southern Nazarene still in possession, but right at the 22 meter line. A huge opportunity for a counter there. Lost though, but they continue to rumble forward. Good work on the ruck, presenting it there, but they had to bring in the scrum half. Robertson had to get his nose dirty and get in there, but able to keep things moving. Lost forward though, Dayton Bradford had the burst, but lost it. Now the Bearcats continue to fight with it. Ooh, big dump just out of nowhere. I think that's where we've got the whistle coming from, and we'll listen to Justin Hale and see what happened. Yeah, it's gonna be very interesting to see what eventuates here. Number three, Preston James. Could find himself in a little bit of trouble. It certainly looks dangerous as we see the next level rugby replay here. It was just past the ruck. There you can see it well above the horizontal. I don't think he landed on his head or neck. Yes, he did. Okay. I'm going to recommend a yellow card. You have anything different? Okay. Three orange. Yes. Three orange. Yeah, you called it just the dump there. As you see, Adrian Walker just trying to be part of that ruck. And James just scoops him up and dangerously dumps him down. Did kind of land a little bit on the shoulder, not directly on the head, or we may have seen a red card our first of the weekend. But either way, an easy call for Justin Hale. And off comes Preston James. So we enter into the last. Time on. 15 minutes or so of this match. Southern Nazarene with an opportunity up a man to make something happen here into the hands of Meinhardt. 10 meters out, they lost it forward. Another blown opportunity, unfortunately, there for the Crimson Storm. Sam Houston is not out of the woods yet. They've still got work to be done. Try to spend this one back, but they lose it forward themselves. It's scooped up. There by Clemens, and Clemens slams it home. It Johnny on the spot, scoops and play, scores. Just yeah. like that, Southern Nazarene put five more up on the board, down by 17. Oh, poor old Austin Clemens. You can see him dealing with a very bad case of cramp there, but it's the, the price you pay for the try, and the Storm are right back in this one. Someone get the pickle juice out there to that man. I certainly know how that feels, but here's the replay. O'Brien went for the clearance off to number six, Michael Fight, who just built it forward, and Clemens was right place, right time, and Southern Nazarene are storming back into this one. And big credit to the officiating there as well. I thought that yellow card was handled exceptionally well. The, the right outcome certainly happened, so... And after that try scored gives them an opportunity to get right back into it we do have a bit of heat today 80 degrees out here on the pitch and if you've never been to southeast texas might not quite understand we have a good breeze that has killed a little bit of that humidity it might be december but it's still 80 degrees in texas and the boys are fighting through it yeah that's fine time is off southern nazarene yeah, again off. out of oklahoma they started to make their presence felt nicely here in the second half. As we set up to take this kick. Still down though is the try score Austin Clemens. Again, Clemens out of Garland High School, West Dallas. Awarded the MVP and athletic achievement back in 2018 on the football side of things, but he has transitioned nicely here 
for the Crimson Storm and has really exploded here in the second half. I don't know if we called his name too much in the first half, Wheels, but we've seen him shedding tacklers throughout the second. Well, most certainly, um, as you can tell, as we saw, he said earlier, that level of intensity has just gone up a, a few notches, really. And storm side. Is the, is the coach making a decision? And we'll take doing? a break here as the injury gets it. sorted out. Again, thank you so much for watching us here on the National Collegiate Rugby's YouTube page. We'll step aside and have the finish here in a few. And a good morning to you, rugby fans. Welcome to beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana. We have seven rugby action coming for you all day. Look, the spot that we running. Ready or not, here we coming. Somebody better say a prayer for me Tonight may get a little crazy You can leave me That one finally moving out It looks like they are in the try zone again Extending their lead Time on. Back here to Aviva Stadium. And it's as three Austin black Clemens front row player. was able to go out here. They will have a sub coming on. Orange, yes. So yes it will but be black is the one Dayton Bradford right here to strike this one. And we welcome you back here to the Lone Star Bowl. Tim Wilkes on the call with my broadcast partner. Wheels, Thomas Grant as they strike this one up and through. Also got Tyler Doidge down on the pitch, covering things from all angles for us as Bradford puts that one up and in. Special thanks to everybody. We got the production squad with Next Level Rugby back in the studio. What are we doing? Everybody here are we doing? making this national championship a beautiful one here from Houston, Texas. The crowds are starting to come in as we have three more matches left to go. Nice kick up into the air, and this one's going to dribble all the way out into touch. And Southern Nazarene will have to find an exit strategy from inside their own 22 off the line out. Here we go. Here's our mark, gentlemen. Here's our mark. Yeah, 2 2. Wind coming in at about 10 miles an hour right now, blowing from left to right. It's going to be taken nicely off the back there. Michael Fight. Fight gets it off into the hands of Garcia. Garcia now six meters out. Continues the march here for the Bearcats. They try to fringe things out here to the left side. Through the defense, though, goes Torno. And Drake Torno, the freshman, scores another try. You got 14 black cramping. 14 black. Simon looks to be a real leader for this Big Cat side. As you can see here on the replay. It really just opened up for him in the end. He took the ball quite flat-footed and the space was all there in front of him had to break through the tackle of Austin Clemens but in the end try time too easy yeah had Southern Nazarene on their back foot there as they tried to fringe out Sam definitely had the numbers but Drake Torno goes north and south and he was able to take it all the way through for the score you see another leg cramp there when it comes south as things starting to fall apart, Nazarene played an excellent start to the second half. But Sam Houston have not let up on their aggression. They continue to push forward. We see that man, Drake Torno, continuing to show off here from that hooker position. And Torno, part of USA U18 squad, AG's U18 squad for the Gilgronies. Also with Atlanta Sevens, and then some of the best experience with Eagles Impact Rugby on their tour of Spain. So he has come back 
with a lot of experience and has definitely been one of the leading members of this Bearcat rugby squad. Wheels, we were talking about him before the match and how he might be able to make his presence felt out there. And two tries up on the board, I think we were on the right track. Yeah, most definitely. He's definitely been one of the shiners for the Bearcats alongside Blake Powell for me in the seven jersey has been really dynamic on the flank for Sam Houston State today and this man taking the kicks at goals number 11 Etienne tonight he's been fantastic as well just blowing that lead now potentially out to 22 points which heading into the last 15 minutes certainly a big task at hand for Southern Nazarene As this one falls off. Still an excellent showing, though, for the boys from Oklahoma as they've come into this. Still their first season of competitive rugby. And the Crimson Storm, again, went 3-1 and one on the year in conference. Third place in their conference. Looking to make something happen here on the national stage. But it's all Sam Houston as we push through. Again, the Sam Houston squad, your 2022 D1 College Rugby Championships sevens national champion that was back in may another excellent tournament put on by the ncr as we'll take another look here wheels yeah, here's the try again to torno just burst through the tackle of clemens and tomason and he's been super pumped look at them go when they get the try you can just see how much it means to these players to, to be here in houston today as we get ready to see the restart of Dayton Bradford. Kick up high, taken by Stockley. They're able to get it back into the hands and through the defense again goes Drake Torno. Showing off the speed, not just the power that he has in his arsenal to Alvarez, who we've already seen with blazing speed. They're able to secure possession. Good job coming up with support. And got to recycle it back. But it looks like Sam Houston did fall off their feet there. Part of the reason they were able to secure that ruck. Good job by our referee, Justin Hale, to spot that one. And we'll have the penalty back to the Crimson Storm. Just quick tap and look to rumble. Pass. No looker there right before the tackle ends up coming off the hands of the black jerseys. And so we'll have a scrum down back to Sam Houston. Oh, Drake Torno, he's certainly getting some good air time at the moment. How about that off the restart? Just pinches a good 40-odd metres or even more. Fantastic. Way to reply to your own try, and we can see that cramp is certainly becoming a bit of an issue down here in Houston today. There's some of these squads that are here in the stands. Watching on in this first Lone Star Bowl match. We've got a couple of national champions to be crowned later on in the day. Lesson to be learned here. Get that water, get that pickle juice, hydrate however you can. Because that Texas heat is unrelenting, as is the competition here in the National Collegiate Rugby Fall Men's National Championship Series. And the second time we've been able to have this here from beautiful Houston, Texas in Aviva Stadium. Are we go with subs? Are we go with subs? <laughs> we are all set and ready to rock and roll again. It's a 22 point lead with 14 minutes left to play in the second half for Sam Houston. Stepping up into the scrum half position is the former fullback, Lane O'Brien, the sophomore. Bind. Out of Woodlands High School has been a dominant force here in the Texas high school scene and that ball had not come in yet early drive before that ball entered the scrum easy call for Justin Hale and O'Brien will send this one deep into touch it's a long gone it's a long gone hey Chase making sure it's not a free kick smartly done 
there from O'Brien, but this one did not find touch. Hit that one a bit fat. Remains on the field of play, and it's Southern Nazarene that are able to scoop up the ball and look to charge here. Into contact goes Adrian Walker, the freshman. Off their feet were the Bearcats. So a penalty earned for Southern Nazarene. And one thing noticing here from the Southern Nazarene 12. side, 12 different tap freshmen tap on this roster, a little less Thank than you. half of the squad Let's go. in their first year. But as this program builds, looking to possibly be a national powerhouse as we move through here. The boys from Oklahoma in the black jerseys, down by 22, 12 minutes left to play. Looking for that pass up over the top, but Stoke, Stockley snags that one out of the air. His patented dive over the try line gets his second of the day. And just like that, the Bearcats prove that they are never out of striking ability. They get in another big five up on the board. Oh, Stockley, Johnny on the spot. And how about the dive to go with it? If you haven't seen Owen Farrell's try for England, that is the exact copycat of that this dive is right off youtube have a look at this airtime fantastic hand in the sky that is fantastic from jake stockley or jackson stockley rather and that really extends that lead for the bearcats and makes things extremely difficult now for southern nazarene but he's had a whirlwind of a game tim the man out of round rock in texas Jackson Stockley at six foot three, just stuck that big paw up in the air, snagged it out of the sky. So he tried to go over the top of the defense and you got that type of height that Sam Houston is putting out there with multiple guys over that six foot three height. Looks like five or six of them out there on the pitch. They've got the speed, size and strength and they have proved that they are a dominant force here in the Lone Star Conference. This one off the mark, no good. And this will all be setting up a huge contest for Sam Houston. February 4th, they will take on Texas State and the Renegades from San Marcos and what, what could be one of the deciding factors as they move through Lone Star Conference play. Still a few more matches on the docket in the spring. Coach Ramon Serrano has to be happy with his squad's performance. Here in the second half, they had to fight much, much harder as Southern Nazarene was able to tack on a few tries and really started to bring things to the table. But the Bearcats have proved formidable and continue to push on. Right now we see Marshall Garcia was able to make a good 15 meters there, but unfortunately lost it in the tackle. Bradford will scoop it up and we'll have another scrum here for the Crimson Storm. How much time on our card over there? Yeah, just under 10 minutes to play here and an opportunity for Southern Nazarene to continue to show what they can do with ball in hand. They certainly have some dangerous weapons in that back line. The likes of Bradford is now switched into the scrum half position. Ethan Tomasin in the number 13 jersey. Strong push again in from the Bearcats. Sends them back a good few meters and it's taken out the back. Blake Powell just rips it out of their hands. Backwards. Trying to find some support, sends that one back to Alvarez. Alvarez taken down. Support is there. Good counter up there from Joshua Robertson getting back into it. Excuse me, that was Kennedy getting his head in there, but offsides the penalty. We've got advantage being played for the Bearcats. This one gets blown up. So we'll have it right there at the 10 meter line. No quick tap coming here. Sam Houston is just gonna let those seconds tick off the clock and we'll have a line out for the Bearcats still in their half of the pitch. Looks as if Sam Houston also clearing out the bench a wee bit with Stephen Halam in the number 16 jersey entering the field alongside Darius Walker. Entering the fold for the Bearcats. Nice toss in straight through the center. 
and they're able to come back in possession of the Bearcats. Alvarez gets it to Stockley. Stockley always looking to attack. Kicks this one through, but could not hang on to it. Just off of the mitts, as he could not snag that one up and turnover ball back to Southern Nazarene. But we see another trick out of the back pocket there from the boys from Huntsville. Certainly have a lot of trickery do this Sam Houston side. It's a credit to the coaching staff, Ramon Serrano and Luke Jimenez. Look to have really assembled a well-drilled outfit. And deserving of this lead so far. Set. Ready, ready, Orange is driving. Never stop driving. Orange continued the drive there, so Sam Houston gets dinged for the penalty, says Justin Hale. Bradford will scoop this one up and look to take it quick. There's the tap. Crimson Storm look to blow through Sam Houston, but they get repelled initially. Strong tackle from the Bearcats. Good work hanging on to it here, and they get it out in the hands of Tomasin. Tomasin with the offload, gets it to Camacho. Camacho ever dangerous here from that hooker position, scoops it back up again. Got to get to deck. Good job by Drake Torno holding this one up. Finally let it go, but a scramble for it on the deck. Nazarene ends up losing it. Strong work from Sam Houston, just relentless to take that ball away. And hands Walker gets it out to Hullum. Hullum just outside the 10 meter line. They've got a three on two on the far side, but that window slams shut. Strong work. There looked like Garcia that was able to make that tackle. Now a burst through goes Alvarez. Alvarez with the offload. They continue to march forward. Alvarez just so dangerous at any time with those line breaks. Now they use the big boys to push forward, but they're left unsecured. And it's Southern Nazarene that are able to take it right back. About five minutes left to play. Southern Nazarene just looking for some positive movements here. Advantage. Offsides is the call as the Bearcats were a little bit too aggressive. Stephen Holum got dinged with that offsides penalty. Southern Nazarene will look to relieve a bit of pressure playing from inside their own half. Here's a mark. Give me a good yeah, number just guilty time. there. Get get a little bit of ill discipline there from the Bearcats. Southern Nazarene really like this. Looking to take the quick tap well inside their own half. Finished with a bit of action. See a strong take that's able to break the gain line of the Bearcats. They're cycling it back to Robert, or to Bradford. Bradford continues the march here for the Crimson Storm. They lost this one. Stockley came up and made the tackle and ended up taking away that weak pass over the 22-meter line or just outside the 22-meter line now with the Bearcats. So they recycle this one back, and Stockley has just been all over the ball here in the second half, playing well on the defensive end. We've seen a little bit more ball in hand from the Crimson Storm, but Bearcats are ready for more. Just outside the 22-meter line. Quick hands all the way to the outside. Ends up getting knocked on. Possibly intentional. Jose Garcia came up and knocked that one down. Now playing it from an offsides position. But we'll still just have the scrum down. Attacking scrum for the Bears, Bearcats. Four minutes left to play here in this Lone Star Bowl. Yeah, about four and a half. Here we go. Yeah, just unfortunate there on the left side for the Storm. They almost got both hands to it, but just lost it at the last minute. And you see the eight man for Southern Nazarene, Jonathan Rona, leaving the field. The man with the red bandana. He's putting a good shift today for the Storm. Hey, I have a new front row. Yeah. Crouch, bind, ear to ear. I need you to hold your weight and not engage, yeah? We don't come together to the set. Sure. Still Let's excellent go. communication coming from our referee from the Lone Star Rugby Conference. Bind. Justin Hale barking out orders, keeping things nice and set and stable here in the scrums. Too much of a push there from the Bearcats, though. An easy call for him, and it's a penalty awarded to Southern Nazarene. Gotta wait until that ball gets put into the scrum before you start your drive. With the dummy coming through is Bradford. Bradford looks to 
Finds some space here on the near side of the pitch. Tomasin takes it through the defense. But does not release in time. Strong pressure from the Bearcats. Forces the turnover, but they've dropped it forward, did Alvarez. And so with two and a half minutes left to play, it'll be a restart here for the Crimson Storm with the scrum. Here's the mark. Here's the mark. Oh, Alvarez, he'll be gutted with that one. Just lost control of it at the last minute, trying to tap and go and play too quickly. Certainly was the right decision as a lot of backs were turned by the Southern Nazarene players, but good opportunity here in the last two minutes for the Storm to take that last try. Last try wins, right, Tim? Hey, you want to put an exclamation point up on the board any chance you can, especially in a club in their first year as a program. Just trying to make a bit of a show here on the national stage. They've got 24 points up on the board. This one uh, maybe goes backwards. <laughs> Justin Hale wanted to give that to him badly, but he makes the call a minute and a half away from a Lone Star Bowl victory for the Sam Houston State Bearcats. Now oh, this time poor old Dayton Bradford. He's tried his heart out today for the Southern Nazarene. Storm side, he scored a fantastic individual effort, which no doubt they'll be talking about after this game. Bursting through the gap in the chip and chase, that'll be in the highlights package. Fantastic. Nice take here. O'Brien's able to scoop this one cleanly off the back. Finds the open runner, Stockley again, at pace, over to Alvarez. Alvarez through the defense, five meters out, dragging defenders with him to recycle it back. Now he's still on his feet, still fighting for it. Tackle there. Tackle Matthew there. Alvarez, the junior, on your feet, on your hands. continues to push. And now they'll recycle it back. There goes Torno. He's got a couple on the day already. Nice little offload, gets it to Ellison. Ellison, the final pass to the outside to Blake Powell. And Powell, another multiple try scorer for the Bearcats. Notches another one on the belt there. Extends the lead for Sam Houston State. Oh, if there's anyone that's to have the final say on the game, I think this man is very deserving of it. He's been outstanding for Sam Houston State today. Blake Powell out of Mansfield, Texas. Studying PR and advertising. He gets a pretty easy run through to the try line in the end. You can see Torno there with the brutal carry. Just a lovely short pass there from Brett Allison into Powell who gets the exclamation mark on this game. Wait, the final kick here. We heard from Justin Hale that this will be it. Final whistle will sound after the kick is taken. In the player out of Mansfield, Texas, has been wonderful throughout the day. O'Brien will look to notch the last couple of points up on the board, 24 to 66, your score. Again, I want to say special thanks to everybody here on site in the Cats Den, Aviva Stadium. This one off the mark. Next Level Rugby has been great. Tim Wilkes here for anyway. wheels. Tyler Doidge on the field. Your Lone Star Bowl champions are Sam Houston State University. We will take a break, and when we come back, we've got three more to go. Louisville versus Virginia Tech in the Division I AA Final. We'll be here when we return. 